I'm Michelle, this is Mishmash. It's been a little while since I posted a video. I think it was in my last video or the one before that. I said, oh, I have a video schedule. And then as soon as I posted that, I was like, I don't feel like making any videos. I do not want to stick to any schedule. Murphy's Law. But I'm back with a couple of videos. Um, last week I was on vacation and I posted that vacation TBR video. I read one of those books. <laughs> I don't know what happened. I mean, the book I chose, Winter, was huge, but it took me the entire three or four days to read it. So I don't know what's going on. Um, but I'm feeling, I'm feeling better. The weather is beautiful. I'm happy. So let's get into the books that I read in March. Um, this is Birdie by Tracy Lindberg. One of the um, candidates for the Canada Reads competition that I talked about in a video. And I didn't like this book very much at all. Um, I, I did like that it's about a native woman and it was nice to see that culture represented in a book for Canada Reads. It's a very important topic in Canada that we need to be talking about and reading about. But I didn't think that this book addressed any of the issues in a positive way. Um, it took forever to get into the book. The first hundred pages were like, what the heck is going on? I have no idea. Then once I figured out who was who and stuff, it did start to get a little bit better, but it just didn't really redeem itself for me. So I give that a two out of five stars. And I wouldn't really recommend it. The next book I read was Relish, My Life in the Kitchen by Lucy Nicely. I borrowed this from the library, so I don't have it anymore. But in a few of my Friday Reads videos in March, I was reading this and showed some of the pictures in it because it's a graphic novel memoir, food memoir. And basically it's just, she tells stories of uh, different times in her life when food was a big part of that story. And she shares some recipes and they're all drawn and really cute and really pretty. I really enjoyed that one. It was a quick read, but it wasn't anything life-changing. Um, I guess the one reason I would buy that book was for the recipes in it because I kind of wanted to go back and try some of those. If it hadn't been for that, it would have been kind of a forgettable book that I wouldn't really pick up again, but I like the addition of recipes to that book. I gave that a 4 out of 5 stars and I selected that book as um, for the Book Riot Read Harder Challenge, which I'm thinking of doing a video for soon. Uh, one of the topics is a food memoir, so I picked that for that topic. Next book I read was People of the Book by Geraldine Brooks. I feel like I've talked about this a few times because I've been, I was reading it for a little while in my Friday Reads videos. I definitely noticed a few things this time that, um, you know, weren't, it's not a perfect book, but I still gave it a 5 out of 5 stars because I enjoyed it so much. Basically, it's kind of a historical novel. There is one overarching story through the book, but it also follows short stories of different people and it really dives into those characters quite well for only being a chapter for each character and I feel like it really um, explores those people and their motives and stuff um, really well and I just really liked it. I think this book and a couple others I've read in the past couple of years have opened my eyes to realize that I, I kind of like history and um, but as long as it's done in a way that's really engaging <laughs> which your typical history book is not that way so anyway I really recommend this book um, Geraldine Brooks also wrote a book called March which won the Pulitzer Prize I tried to read that once and I didn't really get into it but I might try it again or something else that she's written I'm not sure if she's written anything else but um, I enjoyed that one and I'm glad I own it. Next, another book I've been banging on about, Ready Player One by Ernest Klein. I love this book, five out of five stars. I know I've talked to some other people in the comments that didn't really like this book that much. They didn't think it lived up to the hype, but um, I don't know, I was kind of saying that when I started reading this book, as soon as I started reading the first chapter and read the story of how this man leaves a billion dollar fortune to whoever can find the easter egg in his video game and how these people had to research all these 80s movies and video games to be able to understand his life and what where he would have hidden this easter egg it's just so cool i just loved it and i kind of threw out like any critical viewpoint of the book <laughs> so 
I don't have like the most critical opinion of this book, but I loved it and I highly recommend it if you are looking for a fun, fast-paced adventure read. That's something more unique. Then I read Rainbow Rowell's new short story or novella called Kindred Spirits on my e-reader. And this one was super quick, I read it in like an hour. And I really liked it actually. I gave it 4 out of 5 stars. And basically it's a short story of this girl who is waiting in line for like a few days before the new Star, star Wars movie comes out. And she meets the other few people in the line. and. It's just a really cute little story and I just enjoyed it and I don't think I've ever waited in line for anything um, but I, I've always kind of wanted to be that kind of person that um, is so invested in something that they would wait in line for three days. Not, an, not buying an iPhone or something like that because I think that's stupid but um, to be so excited for a book or a movie or something coming out like that that you would want to camp out. I think that's so cool and it's such a fun idea. Um, I remember when I was younger I wasn't allowed to read Harry Potter and I remember hearing about when the, I think it was the last book came out, there was this huge party downtown and everyone was dressed up and I hadn't really been interested in reading Harry Potter before that. Um, I thought it was just like, whatever, a kid's book or something. But when I heard about that party, I was like, I want to be a part of that. I want to be part of something huge. So now I'm always looking for the next thing like that, but it's probably not going to happen for a long time. And then finally, I read Winter by Marissa Myers. This is the last book in the Lunar Chronicles, finally. <laughs> um, this is such a long series, but I, this is the book I read on my vacation, and I read it in an as an ebook, and it took me such a long time, but um, it was quite a long book actually. I enjoyed it, but I felt like it was longer than it needed to be, and I just kind of got a little bit bored throughout it. I'm not really sure why or when, but I looked at it three out of five stars. It was not my favorite of the series, and I felt like it just kind of um, wrapped up a little bit too neatly, in my opinion, and considering like intergalactic wars that were going on throughout the series. Um, it just seemed a little bit too neat and tidy at the end. Which, I don't know. Um, as a young adult book, I guess that makes more sense. But yeah, it was alright. I still do recommend the series though. I think it was really fun and something different and worth reading. But as long as you're aware that you're reading a young adult fantasy book that um, is just fun and pure fluff basically. <laughs> so those are the books I read in March. Let me know what you read or if you've read any of these books I talked about and what you think. And um, thanks for watching. I'll see you later. Bye.